What's up guys, Josh here. Um, I'm here today to give a little more uh, facts on some rotary things. Um, this mainly applies to first gens um, and even first gens mainly to the uh, to the carbureted first gens. I believe the five letters, GSLSE is five letters if you're wondering, um, have digital coil packs but don't quote me on that I can't I can't remember anyways so as a lot of you may know from seeing some of my uh, roto turd evolution videos the um, I run MSD boxes for rev limiter I actually have it set for 8500 rpms right now and it's an ignition cut rev limiter instead of a fuel cut rev limiter so it makes really cool like you know, five, six foot flames, uh, scares a lot of people when you bounce off the rev limiter. Anyways, that's not part of it. Today we're talking about coils. Um, the reason why I'm talking about coils is a lot of people don't realize that coils are oil filled for, uh, oh, man, what's that word? Insulation. They're oil filled for insulation. So what that means is they have to be mounted vertically and as a lot of you are aware first gen rx7s are more mounted horizontally so this is the coil that i pulled out of out of my car this obviously isn't an msd blaster coil this is an excel super stack and it's just a universal coil and it is oil filled part of the reason why i pulled it out of the car because it guess what it was mounted horizontally and with the horizontal, it's actually leaking on my fingers because it was mounted horizontally. Um, you don't want to mount, obviously, something liquid filled horizontally with, I mean, it's it's got a, you know, a press fit cap seal with probably a rubber seal underneath it. But still, you don't want to mount it horizontally because you run the risk of it leaking over time and causing, uh, causing the coil itself to fail. So... Whenever you buy new coils, you have to buy, um, what is this one filled with? It is filled with, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, it's filled with epoxy instead of oil. And it clear, and it says that. So you always want to pick up, if you pick up an MSD, you want to pick up the high, high vibration blaster coil. And it's part number 8 and 32, so 8222. The reason you want to do that is you can mount, you can take that one and mount it horizontally, upside down, sideways. I'm dropping washers all over the place. And that keeps you from running the issue of it leaking all over the place and you don't have to worry about it and possibly failing. And that's a pretty, a pretty common thing for rotaries is the coils will fail because it demands so much out of a coil. Most vehicles run on one coil. All your old American V8s, you know, all your V6s, Pinto, Pinto uh, four cylinders, every everything from the 80s backwards, pretty much runs on one coil except for rotaries. So do yourself a favor and spend the extra. I think these are like 60 or 70 bucks. Spend the extra 15 or 20 dollars and get the high vibration blaster coils and save your save yourself some headache from having to replace them you know six months down the road because hey guess what that cheap one that you spend an extra uh, saved extra twenty dollars on has failed anyways just some quick little rotary tips guys uh thanks for watching and happy brapping